This church is the church of the Holy Spirit. And it's right here within the city center. This is called Royal Copenhagen and it's some sort of shop with the things like that. This is quite nice. And here we've got another square. So that thing there with the tower which you see, that is the Christian Borg Royal Palace. And we are gonna head up there in one of these two roads, either here or there. And this will take us to the King's New Square. So this is still pretty much deep city center, downtown, and all the shops and stuff like that. So we're gonna keep heading there. In the meantime, let's check out this guy here. Levitation, you know? By the way, it's nice and sunny day today. It feels like the summer is kicking in. And this place up in here, behind me, right there, is the Contemporary Art Museum. Nikolai Kunsthal, right? It's quite some building or structure. Do you like this kind of alleyway? Little cool hidden gems. Yeah, me too. Look at this. That would be beautiful for like a studio, your workshop. Amazing, yeah? This is really nice. There's another one. So high street there, you know, it's it's all blingy blingy and you know what I mean, jengi jengi, yeah. I'm gonna take your stuff. But here it's nice and chilled. Look at this bike as well, cool. <laughs> Down there for the studio, perfect little workshop. Well, not little. The whole bottom floor. Do your work, your craft, amazing. That's quite interesting. Number 13, very good. What is this place? This is how it used to look. Tree art. Now, okay, that's blocked. It says Bradford Group, number 13. Look at all the stars. And right opposite, we've got this Guinness World of Records. And this would have to be the tallest man, or it should represent the tallest man. Here is a man standing next to him. Okay, cool. So look at that. This is world's shortest woman. A mature weight varies from 3.4 to 4 kg. She was two feet tall. 61 centimeters at her death. We leave all that behind, people gathering, taking photos of tallest man, and we move along. So this place here is the King's New Square with some funky looking palace as well, right there. And here on this square, we've got another one of the Sunday markets, so to speak. It's very small, there's a few stalls. It seems like it's a Sunday thing. So this building there seems to be a royal theater. Up there, we've got a little docking place where we're gonna have a look at the memorial anchor. Look how they've cut it 
these trees just there. Well, they just basically square them, make them rectangular. This is little metal bridge, I don't know what it's here for, but it's nice. Because I can film here from like a higher view, okay? Look at these cool, colorful buildings there as well. The boats coming in and out. You see there? Seems to be very busy here today. Okay, we're gonna go have a look. And this is the memorial anchor, which I was telling you about. Let's have a look. People here queuing to get on the boats, you know? Shit is for the Sunday, innit? I ain't gonna wait. Forget about it. something quite disgusting and nasty no wonder why this place is so busy since all along here and all along there there are all these restaurants people come here to eat and just you know mess about okay so now check it out if you look here into this water and I hope you can see that here here yeah this is all rubbish it's some bags looks like plastic and all that tins of beer and all this kind of stuff so that's nasty i'm assuming people come here chill out and then dash shit into the water yeah so to all of you idiots fix up there's the duck same we've got here yeah in the water we've got basically rubbish you know and by the way in copenhagen or around Copenhagen in Denmark what I'm realizing is that there's loads of seaweed you know everywhere sometimes if there's certain wind certain currents so bad that when I was on my kite surfing instructing session with a student the kite dropped into the water and the lines caught so many seaweed that the kite didn't fly properly we had to come out and clear the lines so that was quite bad and you can see that seaweed all in here as well came from there and now we came to this more of an open space now here you're going to be able to see some of that seaweed I was telling you about there looks like medusa or jellyfish as they call it this is mad lot of seaweed up there in the background that's the Copenhagen Opera House and we are gonna be heading along the water where we see them cruise ships we're gonna go and have a look at the little mermaid sitting on a rock let's have a go hey. 